right, testing. Hey, can you hear me all right? Hey, good. All right. How does it look frame rate right uh frame rate wise is it pretty good? Oh crap. Oh fire. Hey. hey. Oh, uh, that was very. Sh Why did it get cut off? But hey, at least it gave me the f the alert this time. <clears throat> nice. Did the pop up come up? Do I need to? All right, did it pop up on stream? I might need to fix all of my, um, I might need to fix all of my, okay, so I need to, I'll just need to go in and fix that, um, <clears throat> in Streamlabs so that it pops up correctly, or in OBS, I guess, is where I need to fix that, but at least I got the sound alert. Well, see, I did. I, well, I was. I tested them off stream. Let me do. Hold on. Let me look at my alert box here. All right. So followers. Let me. Let me pull this over here so I can see it. All right, let's test this one. Oh, fire! Coming out of the wall! Coming out of the goddamn wall! Fuck! No pop up. Okay, I'm a. I have to <coughs> look at that later, but as long as I'm getting the aud audio cue for it, at least then I can uh, I can hear when people follow and stuff, so I can thank them. <laughs> yep, I'll see you later. Have fun, man. Okay. So, sorry about that, everybody. I was, uh, just trying to fix something with my stream, uh, but we're all good now. Um, I at least should get some audio cues when things happen now. And I'm going to refresh this. All right. Anyway, uh, back to what we were doing. So, um, as I was saying, we got um, we got our advanced oil and uh, cracking up and running. We set up some uh, incinera uh, We set up the incineration plant for all of our waste that we're generating. Um, and off stream, I've started to terraform the island a little bit to give myself more room. That's a good suggestion, man. Thank you very much. I will definitely do that. See you later. <clears throat> um So, uh I'm putting I'm putting all my dirt over here cuz I want to be able to put all the farm stuff over here, which is why I'm cutting down this forest. I've started planting trees up here. Um, I'm not going to be tearing this part of the island down anytime soon. I'm pretty much working over here right now. 
So, um, I'm expanding this to give myself more room for farming and food production, that type of thing. Over here, I'm just expanding out the island more over here to encompass all of the limestone so that it's easy to dig down into it. Obviously, I've been piling it up over here just to throw it somewhere for now. Um, and then over here, I've expanded this over a little bit so that I can turn basically uh, where this line is is where my retaining wall is going to be for the mine for the iron. Just like I did over here with the coal. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, it looks a little big, but when you look at it, all the iron comes out to about here. Even though it looks like it's right here. It's under the ground, so it goes over to here. So uh, I'm built, trying to get this wide enough that I can keep it contained and continue to build the walls in. As you can see, we've dug down into our coal quite a bit. Still, still a bit, there's still quite a bit left of the coal. So I'm not too concerned about that yet. Um, so I expand this out. I'm moving all, I'm moving this power over to here, uh, because I want to basically build this whole area as my smelting area. And then down here, I'll probably still keep the building area. I'm just going to have it come, uh, go over to the next section. I I'm basically building this up to have like rows and stuff so that my vehicles kind of go in one one area quit kind of driving off everywhere else and then I could build the roads to save on my maintenance costs um, I'm gonna have so we have my smelting area my recycling area is all gonna be up here so that all the recycling could go and cycle back into everything else um, I want to prioritize anything coming out of recycling to go back into building more stuff first so like iron plates or copper plates that I would generate from recycling are the first ones to go back in uh, so that that won't back up and my recycling will keep going uh, I want to move <coughs> I want to move this um, <coughs> excuse me I want to move this incineration plant probably into here and I'm using some of the steam from that to try and generate power. Now, this I built this way too big for what this produces 18. Well, hold on, let me turn on. This produces 18 every every minute. This needs 24 every minute, so it's not really going to run that well. Um, and then, of course, we got the steam, the low pressure steam that comes out of these guys, my uh, oxygen or my exhaust scrubbers. So that's producing 24 low pressure steam. Now, that is enough to run this, but these aren't running flat out all the time. Um, so I'm kind of debating right now um, if I want to. Um, even try to generate power off of it or if I just want to basically reclaim the water from it um, basically run the steam through run this through one of these maybe it generate it you know turns two of these I, I this was I don't know what I was thinking here this was ambitious um, but I do want to get the water circulating back into everything I may just put a little thing over here for um, for the steam generated from these well, that's kind of what I'm doing and then obviously we're gonna look at going into the advanced smelting where we get our blast furnace twos our metal caster twos um, I've expanded the settlement a little bit I now have 226 available workers plus there's also workers already in in these buildings so I should have enough to be able to get into that um all right i was getting low on iron so i stocked that up a little bit but now we've done that we're gonna tell them to stop digging into that and continue digging into this mountain to get to it and like i said i was digging i'm digging all my dirt from right here uh for dumping over to here and then of course i'm knocking this mountain down to well i did that to get the rock and whatnot to put over here and they're going to start putting it down here. 
Also, if you remember, we are generating a lot of sulfur. A lot of sulfur from our sour water scrubbers from the oil, uh, oil generation. So, <clears throat> I'm taking this, and I've just been sticking it over here. And this is getting ridiculous with how much um, sulfur I was producing. And I wasn't using it fast enough. Well, I found that if you go to the mixer, you can mix sulfur with limestone and get slag. Slag isn't really needed at the at this point because we're generating slag from our uh, smelting uh, our smelting process and our glass making. So I've just been dumping the slag. So I'm going to use the slag to continue to expand that too and get rid of some of the sulfur. So that's what I've been doing here is getting rid of all of this here. <clears throat> Uh, they're going to continue. As you can see, I've been dumping over here to spread out the dirt and make this area bigger. <coughs> and I basically want to bring this down to... Oh, no, that's not right. Bring this down to here. And then over to this guy so all my dirt lands out this way um, now obviously I don't want to go I'm trying to do it in, in a controlled means though okay so I'm gonna let them continue to do that uh, once they actually connect this over to this way, then I can um, start flattening this out and making more land over this way. But yeah, so that's, that's where I'm at right now. And, you know, it's starting to use up some of my limestone so I can keep pushing this back. I'm going to end up moving this because I'm probably going to want this area. And I'm hoping I get more of this flattened out and then this and then put more of my limestone here. Um... Probably not the most efficient way to do it, but it, it looks cool. And that's one of the things I wanted to actually look like it, a little bit of an industrial area. So, um, now that this one appears up and running, I'm going to start dismantling this. Now, i got to be careful because I don't want to stop my supply of water from coming in or my exhaust pipe here. I need that to continue so that my furnaces keep running. Um... So I could start taking out like this. Um, this could go out, obviously, this pipe. Now, this was reclaiming water to go back in. I'm going to have this just empty out into here. I don't want to waste this water in this pipe. So we're going to let that empty out. Good. Take that out. This. Um, take that out. Don't need that anymore. Don't need any of this. Good. Let's get more of these. Uh, take out all of this. <clears throat> Those. Good. Alright, that is that entire area fixed. Well, uh, eliminate. <coughs> I'm still gonna... I may... Let's see, this water pipe... I need to think of how I want to bring this water pipe over. Obviously, it's got to be away from... Well, no, it's sort of in there, so it's going to have to come over. Uh, but I'm trying to get some of the planting area. I, I do need to make sure I still have access to this water um, aquifer down here. Although, they are using a lot of this water now for here, so I'm hoping that uh my my settlements are getting too big to be able to manage that all right so that is down um all right 
Next thing I need to do is move this. I'd like to move it over here. I wonder if I can actually... Uh, can I fit it? Ooh, I could fit it in here. Oh, you know what? And that would be empty space used. Ooh, I like that. Uh, just because it's how these pipes wound up being. I could definitely go here. I think I could go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go this way. Um, Where's my... All right, trash is going in there. So if I put that there... Um, let's see. So the hydrogen's right there. That would go into there. Um, let's see. This would go into there. I could bring the hydrogen in that way. Water easily can come in that way and all I have to do is the exhaust which the exhaust can go out into that pipe and then my steam the steam I'm gonna bring around uh, actually the steam I could probably bring yeah I could bring it through here under this and then this steam I could bring over this way all right so I'm just trying to think if Oh, I know what I could do. I could just send that steam into here and prioritize it in on this one. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That way that steam can always be used. It'll always be used in the power. Um I'm gonna turn <laughs> I'm gonna turn the auto balancer off of one of these. Or do I leave it on? Uh, I might have to play with a little bit and see because the auto balance basically shuts these off when there's enough uh, mechanical power on the sh on the uh, shaft here so I'm making a lot of that's what she said <laughs> thanks when I say that um, yeah so that'll free up that area okay um, do I have room? Okay, I'm gonna have to take this. Um, and it could just this one could just be a little small pipe. That can come over this way. Go over through there. Go that way. Um, go go up. over this way go there goes down one nope down one there along this way there uh, I don't want to block access to that so we're gonna go around it into there good and we can prioritize that one in <clears throat> uh, this doesn't need to be priority in this is a 
<clears throat> kind of a backup if I need to pull pull my hydrogen over here. I don't plan on using this right now. I'm still sticking with coal, uh, mainly because I don't produce enough hydrogen to completely run that off of just hydrogen. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that could run over into there, and then each one of these produces. 24 low pressure steam. Okay. So I'm just trying to think of what I want to do with this. Um, let's do this. I take this out. I was pushing it over into here. I think what I'm gonna do is no, damn it, not what I want to do. I just wanted to take the end off. There. Okay, <clears throat> um, that will go into one low pressure. I'm just going to send it into one um, low pressure turbine. I may set up. Um, flip. Yeah. I may set up two of these because I think I think one's not going to be enough, but two will be. You generate three megawatts, and these take three megawatts to turn into two. So I'm going to do one. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to do it this way. In case the second one needs to go, um, <clears throat> and then it can do that. And I'm going to put one flywheel on it. Um, these are going to be my, let's say I'm going to put these up to primary power source. So these should always run first. And then I get any other power that needs to be done can be done by this one over here. Uh, let's put in a, I'm going to put in a balancer. I do like my balancers, don't I? Um, put it up. Let's go here. That one can go to there. This one to there. Um. I'm going to keep this one. No, don't aim it. Cancel. Cancel. Um, I want to keep this one up here. Just plug that into there. Now, I'm going to prioritize to go out to this one first. Just to make sure one's always spinning. And then all the extra can go to this one if it needs to. And I can always add on, the way I have this set, I can always add on more if I need to get the other ones running. So then we got, of course, we have our water that's, or depleted steam, which will go into a cooling tower. Like so, and like so. And let's see. So 
So that's only priority in because I think that one. Well, we get our water coming in from here. Yeah, I can attach. This doesn't have a priority in right now. So what I'll do is take this. Go here. This guy over here. There. Uh, and then that one can come up into there. And that can be the priority in. There's nothing else is priority in over here. Good. Alright, I think that is going to be better for what we need to happen here. So we'll get that going. I gotta make sure that's going so my exhaust can keep going out. Um, I can tell this one to go ahead and build. I'm going to pause. Um, actually, I can take that out. So, yeah, we'll take that out. No longer needed. Because that's going to build in. Good. Okay. <clears throat> then I can get rid of this here. Alright. Good. That's going to go into there. And this isn't going to run that often. Which is why it doesn't make any sense to have, have this attached to it. Especially uh, with it taking people. Now I see this, this is way more effective. All right, we're gonna auto balance those. All right, that seems better. All right, that's out of there. I can get rid of Let's see, that pipe's no longer needed. That exhaust is still needed. Don't get rid of that. Uh, that can go. That part can go. No longer needed. Get rid of this. Get rid of all these. Alright. Let's see, get rid of this. All right. Nice, nice. And then this can go. No longer needed. Okay. Uh, this part right here is no longer needed. And that is no longer needed. Where was this? Okay, so that that's needed. That's giving me water here. Okay. Um, this will always be giving me some form of water. So that should always supply this with water. All right, good. That is cleaned up now. Which leaves me more area over here. I can also put in another power plant over here if I need it. Uh, and now we can actually see. That's the true amount of power I can actually generate. Um, well, close to it. I mean, there's minus six. So 20. I think these over here are counting as well because these are my backup. These are five each, so ten. Yeah, 
So that makes sense. This is going to generate uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So that'll generate 12. So we're using 8.2 of it. And this is... I'm going to turn off auto balance on these. These don't need to be auto balanced. I'm not looking to save the steam. I'm turning it off auto so that <clears throat> they just run flat out. They don't stop unless they just don't have the steam for it. Uh, that way these are always used for power. Hopefully. That's the idea anyway behind it. Yeah, see there we go. That is able to spin up. I get used not very long but it you know it saves a little bit over here most of this is running all right i'm probably gonna need to put a second one of these up very soon all right so that part is done um now let's look here no air, okay um we're doing all right we're, we're okay on the call i don't need to bring these guys back yet they're still digging around up here it's good um let's see what empty this start dumping that on the map you're still flattening this area there okay all right uh i don't need this one in here anymore or this one this can go that can go those are all kind of still just dumping there so that they can do that all right all the trees are cleared from here um which means that they should start chopping down trees up here i'm basically telling them to chop down what's above the copper because we're starting to get to that area <coughs> so they're not doing that. All right. Um, all right on the iron. We are slowly getting rid of our excess sulfur up here. Finally. And all my trucks are busy. Um, oh, now. Uh, let's. Yeah, see how, see how full this area is? I had basically these turned on. To give me those parts but we're going to turn on this turn that off because we have a lot of recycled parts and i don't have anywhere to store a lot of this stuff this is why when i redo this i'm going to have these feed into my production facilities uh so that it keeps getting recycled in All right, so um, I gotta do something with this pipe. This pipe's gotta move. I wonder, do I? Ha I don't think I have enough room. Well, I could move it through my oil processing area. Um, that's a big feeder of everything over here too. So that's going over into that. So I would have to make sure it's plugged into this one. And then of course the excess is going out there. Now that's not... Um... Okay, I just want to make sure it's not just draining that out. Um, good. Yeah, that's not a priority out. So that's only getting stuff through there when it's just too much. Good. Okay, good. 
That will work then. I think it's only doing that when stuff's pushed into it. And it's just pushing out the excess. <clears throat> Did I block access to that? No. That's above the ground. That should have access. It's not saying that it doesn't. Let me see. If I do that. No, we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, and you've got access to that. Alright. Trucks are extremely busy. Uh, let's turn that down. Free up my trucks a little bit here. Alright, so we gotta move this pipe. This pipe's gotta move so I can move this and have a whole area up here to work with. <clears throat> this is gonna have to move eventually too. Those are just the ones up here digging this, so not a big deal if I have to move that for the time being. Um, in fact, I may move some of these, like, that's going to have to move too, I think, yeah. I'm going to move, you know, I should move all my towers to, like, a centralized area, and then, oh, uh, because you know what, oh, you know what I could do, is I think you can, yes, you could paint, I could set, I could color code them. Or I could even, like, I for iron, C for copper. Yeah, and I can make it green. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Whoops. Oh. That moved. All right, that's fine. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> I may do that. I'll probably keep that one there. That's fine. It's already established. But I'm going to move the other one. The other one, I'm going to have ones for like just miscellaneous dirt moving. All right. Uh, all right. Where am I moving this pipe? How am I going to move this pipe? I need the exhaust to come over there. Um, I could... Could move it down this way. In fact, I think the best way to go is probably this way. Well, down here... Well, it's, it's got to go to, like, right here. So... I plan to move this settlement eventually. I want to move it towards the end of, like, where my food production is going to be. Oh. Well, no, I don't need... Because these I have specifically going to just the places that need sulfur. So that should dump there. The sulfur I get from this should go to those two places. Um, this one, I'm going to add one. Unless it's already... Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. It's going there. Yeah. Shouldn't need any more sulfur going over here. All right. All right, my trucks have stabilized now, and I've told them to uh, stop bringing sulfur over to here. I'm going to tell them to dump that, though. <clears throat> I also need to look at getting into... I got a lot... I'm getting a lot of extra potatoes and vegetables. I'm probably going to end up rotating stuff out, although... kind of growing everything I need. 
I'm going to turn stuff into animal feed and start getting chickens soon. I've been looking at that and how that's going to work. Low supply of coal. All right, we'll bring these guys back over here. Start digging this out again. Uh, should be right there. All right, dig that out. All right, they'll all come back from this mountaintop and start digging that out. And we'll get coal back. <clears throat> okay. Um, this guy. Edit his area. You're going to go to... There. All right. That'll hopefully get me a little more dirt quicker. All those guys are going back to get coal. Um, I think one of the first things I gotta do is establish where I want my entrance to this, and then where my um, where my wall is going. My wall is essentially gonna be right on the edge of like where this is. So it's gonna be that's gonna be the start of my wall. Um, I think the best, best place to come in at will probably be where it gets thin the quickest. So I think I could probably get away with coming in right here. Uh, so, and then I'll just do a turn that way, and I can go, um, down, make another ramp down there. Is that how I want to do it? I could also go in <clears throat> this way. Three, four, five. If I do that, well, let's make it a little wider. Do four wide. Actually, yeah. Because this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and some change. That part I don't care about. Yeah, in case you didn't know how to tell how deep, like, some of your ores are, every two hashes is one depth. So, zero, zero, this would be... This would be zero, zero right here. This would be one. Or negative one. And this would be negative two. So one. One. Two. Three. Three depth. So that would take me right to... Uh, I think that's just stone. Rock. What is that? What is it gray? Does it say over here? No, it doesn't. That's rock. Uh... So for planning out digging your mine, you can kind of figure out where you want to put. So I could do that. I could have that there. And then I could do another ramp down over here. A little bit away from where the wall would be. So we could do basically one, two, three, four. Five, six. And one of the things I've started doing is I've just been putting... Normally I put a corner, but I'm just going to put a cross T in there. That way if I need to put any kind of walls in, it connects right to it. So that could go right there. And then... Let me see as far as this goes. 
Um, <clears throat> so this one is one, two, three, four, five deep as well. This is five deep. Which is why I've built out this way, because I can build my wall edge here. And then when I want to dig down again, I build the wall edge here. I get it. Basically, the whole point is, is so that every time I put in a wall, I can dig right up to the edge of it and then put another wall in and dig right up to the edge of that. This should give me enough space to dig down. Kind of, that's kind of what I learned over here. Because um, I was trying to do wall to wall, but it, it doesn't work because it leaves this little bit. But if you just do one space out to where you'd be able to mine, um, you could you could do it in layers and save everything from collapsing in on itself. So that's kind of what I was planning for here. In fact, I think I might put the edge of my the edge of my wall on the edge of this. Obviously, this is a there. This doesn't need to have too much of an expansion on it. It's just when it gets further in. Um, and really, so I guess we go to there, go out to here. Maybe there. Go right here to there. All right, so that'll give you an idea of how I want that to go. So this we could start bringing out this way, uh, and then once I get inside, like I just want to have this short. Once I get inside, I really shouldn't need the ramp short up too much. I can kind of adjust on the fly on that one. Um, this one could be a straight corner. But we're going to start laying down our foundations here for this. Now, I want to be careful because I don't want to block vehicle access by having a blueprint of a wall there. Move this to there. Okay, now I just need to fill in the corners. Like I said, this part could just be a straight retaining wall corner. Um, actually, maybe on the inside corners I will. I don't think it costs. Does it cost more to do? No, it, it all costs the same. So I might as well just do the. Uh, cross. That way, I know that I'm set up for any kind of scenario that I might need. Okay. All right, um, and then same thing on the other side. Put this over here now. One, two, three, four. That goes deeper. So I may actually need to rethink the ramp there. Maybe I should have maybe I should have the ramp go in here. Maybe 
because one, I'm a little narrow, narrowed here anyway. Two, if I ever go this way, it goes into where my uh, manufacturers would be. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> I shouldn't have put that limestone there. Oh, I didn't mean to. That was actually a mistake earlier. Um, damn. Yeah, because it's actually, I don't know why I put that there, because it's digging right into that. I should have, I should have the entrance over here. Um, but what I can do. Is, let me take out. Because you can't build your wall on top of this stuff. Let me take this out. Let me grab this. And we're going to put this in. I don't want it to come too far out. Because like I said, I want to actually be able to build in a decent area there. Um, I think it should at least align with this. Gotta be over this way enough. Maybe I actually have it go down here. That actually might be better. And then maybe. Maybe there. Yeah, I like that better. I think that's fine. It doesn't stick out too far into where I would want the other stuff to go. Yeah, I think that's better. Um... Oh, I need to... Okay. I do need to move it slightly to the side. There. Now it'll work. Good. Alright, so that would go down. And really, basically I could just have this go straight out then. Um, and then this one can go this way. Does that give me enough space there then? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think so. This is a fairly shallow end here. That I'm not as worried about. It gets a little deeper over this way. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll be good there. Um question is Do I want this out to here? Yeah, I think we could go there. All right, so put it across here. Go there. Huh. 
stupid. All right. Um, I definitely don't want this to start falling into my... Um, <coughs> into my area so uh i have this wall go to there Sorry, I, I am going to get into the building of the smelting area, but I have to establish this first before I can even start building into that. And it's also going to affect where I move my pipes to. This. There. <coughs> All right, let's see here. this, put in this. saying it there, but it's fine. Um, cross. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. All right. Um, One, two, three, four. I don't need a turn yet. I can go one. I can go one more here, and then we could turn. Oh, that's why I was gonna turn because that's there. Well, it does get a little um. I need to move this so I, so I can see. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. <coughs> That's six deep. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. I was right. Do a turn here. Alright. And that's good. Like, I'm not really too worried about filling that side in. This side's the side I really wanted to focus on. Alright, so we're just going to unpause this I think I that's exactly how I want that to go and we'll get that I will dig all this stuff out by the way <laughs> all right so while the trucks are busy doing that I'm going to look at let's, see, let's get more of the sulfur taken care of um uh, actually, no. We'll, we'll pull it from there. Because that's getting a little full. Uh, <clears throat> you're full on the coal again. So I'm going to send you back up here to keep leveling this mountain. Level that mountain. Go, go, go. Uh, you... 
I'll take that so I can free up some trucks so that these guys can unload and get moving. Alright. It's kind of a balancing act to get this done, but it's working. We are really getting into the coal over here, though. Alright. But, like I said, there's still, there's still plenty there. Uh, <clears throat> now, the trucks are very busy, because they're doing a lot of things. I'll put this guy back up. All right, moving these pipes. Is this water coming up here for any particular reason other than I just need to get... I think it was... The only reason water was coming up here was to feed this. I may end up just putting a little storage bin there with water. I haven't needed it because I haven't been doing a shit ton of science. Oh, you know what? Actually, I need to do science because I forgot. Um, so, and what I want to do... I want to get... Um, I want to get the new crusher because that goes with the advanced smelting and the new rotary kiln. I think that was it for now as far as the industrial. Oh, and the new mixer. So crusher, mixer, rotary kiln because concrete and all like all my production, I want to try to move up there in particular smelting and the smelting is going to require some crushing of ores in order to um, move on. So I need to unpause my research, which is going to generate more recycling, which I don't have any room to put it. So I'm gonna take one of these, I'm gonna put it up here. Also, I stored up a little bit of uh, construction parts and whatnot, so that when I do this move, I've got all the stuff I need to get it done. Um, I also saved up some mechanical parts and some electrical components so that I can keep maintenance going. That's going to be important um, because I'm not going to have iron production <coughs> when I move that. <coughs> and then eventually this is gonna get reworked again soon, but not not probably not this time. But we are getting into construction five or four, so we're gonna need to reconfigure stuff for that. Damn electronics! Oh, electronics right here. Um, I haven't gotten to silicon and anything like that yet, but i might need to leave a small area for silicone production in here somewhere I'll, I'll have plenty of room all right so let's um while that's running i need to put the copper one up here too i need to make sure that these are able to run All right, and the only thing I want going over there are these. So that to there. This one to that one. Unpause those. And I want to make sure I don't want them to pick up any iron from here. Uh, no, no pickup. <clears throat> No pickup. Twelve. All right, this should be fully, just about fully running then. What do you mean invalid? I'm not telling it to empty. Are you? There. All right. <clears throat> um, 
move some of this over there. And some of this over there. Okay. To least to fill. And to fill. Uh, also, I don't want them grabbing from here. Or here. Okay. Should only be grabbing from these. Alright, well, while they're moving those... Okay, good. We got our crusher researched. Um, oh, yeah, we did corn farming. That's done. I mean, obviously, we did... Oh, crap. Unpause. I forgot it was paused. All right, yep. Get that corn and stuff going. <laughs> okay. Very busy. Wow, there's what the hell happened to all my unity? If I have not, what am I boosting? Oh, am I boosting slabs? No. Am I boosting over here? Where am I boosting? Brickworks, four mixers. Oh! I was boosting these. Yeah, I let's not boost these anymore. Um, yeah, I was laying down some gra uh, some road. That's why that was boosted. Um, what else? Air pollution. Why is air pollution high? It shouldn't be. Oh, probably because it's probably high because these have been. Yeah, I need to put up another. I'm gonna have to put up another power area <clears throat> all right well the labs make sense oil rig two edicts i have going oh yo you know what i think my yeah it was electrical components were low for a little while yeah i can ununity boost those all right That'll help. Uh, yeah, we're going to put in another thing of power. Uh, I need it. Because we're getting a little power <coughs> power intensive. I'm going to put this as close as I can to this one. Uh, I don't... I won't need the, the coal. I'll just bring the coal over from that one. Should be alright to feed it in. So I can bring this fairly close. Like right up next to this. In fact, let's see. I do it right there. Perfect. All right. Um, this exhaust. out and attach to that okay this water line goes to the that yeah good <clears throat> and then That, that is from that over there. I don't need this one in here. Delete that one out. Okay. That should be everything I need. And then, of course, I need to bring this. Um, over to there. There. Good. And that leaves me room to bring in the hydrogen if need be. 
which I could convert to later. All right, let's unpause all of this. There we go. I get that built. That way, <clears throat> I don't have to use my backup diesel generators and cause more air pollution. All right, because, uh, yeah, it's pretty close to doing that. Um, let's see, so this one's priority six. I think I made this priority four, right? Yeah. So these I will make priority five. Or no. Um, this should be five. This should be six. Good. Okay. Nice. All right, uh, is the water... Yeah, no, that, that feeds back into the system. All right, good. That should help with the power then. And I think I have just enough room to be able to put in another one. I could always dump specifically here to extend that if I need to. Okay. Hey, nice. All right, it's getting there. Um, if I take, let's see, I think that's this tower. Yeah. If I take that, can I? Get this to encompass. Uh, I can only get that much of it. Damn. Um, well, that's fine. They're not going to dump over there. Let's do that. And I'm going to connect this up. Good. And then I'm going to tell them to flatten this. Good. Okay. Not that. All right. That way they can start digging out some of this dirt over here, hopefully soon. Um, more so, maybe have that go this way. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I used up all the limestone I had there. Um, there. All right. <clears throat> That's good. Um, it's in there. Good. All right. I like how that's starting to shape up. <sighs> Alright, need to move this now. So, I'm going to do this kind of backwards. And I may, I may make this a, I may make this a big pipe. So let's do this part of it first. Um, I think I'm going to have the, the pipe come through. I can probably bring it down this way, high up and then over and then down under a bridge or a ramp. <clears throat> do I want it to run? I think I can have it. Um, I think if I have this three high, I could still build these 
other buildings under it? Will it go over it? Damn it, will it only go around? Alright, so I'd have to at least go maybe back to here. And then, let's see. Um, right, we'll bring it down this way. I want to avoid anywhere traffic might go, because I think once you get to the really big vehicles, they cannot go under pipes anymore. So I want to try to have this to where I can go this way. And this way. Good. All right. Perfect. Um, going to have to bring it down, I think. I think I should. Uh, okay, so I need to bring it to right here. Yes, good. Right through there with the pipe spaghetti. Okay, uh, and then the water. Go up. Go this way and this way. I don't know if I can go around that. No, I can't. I have to go over. So you go right into there. All right. Good. Uh, I think that'll work. Because that is replacing this right here. To go over to there. Which will give me a lot more room. The exhaust pipe, well, the exhaust pipe is still going to have to go, if I move, uh, it's going to be moved anyway because it's going to have to go through these. Um, how much exhaust do these make? 24. So it's going to be a big one. Um, I can move up to 450 through it. So a lot of the exhaust from those will go around and into these. And I may actually have all of these running then. Um, they're 180 each. Well. Yeah. So this is actually going to only take... Two and a half is what one pipe can feed. 
So let me look. 400, 450 divided by, what was it, 24 by each of those? Is 18. So I could have 18 um, blast furnaces hooked up to one pipe to feed three of these machines. Three, two and a half. It's 180 times three. It's 540. So yeah. Two and a half. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to put a, I'm just going to do a large ramp. And what I'm going to do is have this end over this way. I would put this right there. Um, but actually, I can have it. Where's the edge of that? So I can have it. Right there. And that's well. I don't plan on settlement up that way. In fact, for the settlement, depending on how much room I have, I may end up moving the settlement down this way a little bit. Maybe right into here. Maybe these two. I'm trying to give myself as much room as possible with the space I have available. Um. What? Uh, dirt's blocked? Oh. Oh, I need you to definitely go down to here. Why do you have... Oh, my trucks are extremely busy. Alright, we're gonna turn this off and free up some trucks. Okay. Pause that for the time being. Okay. <clears throat> Get this dirt out of here. Low supply of electronics. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to probably up my electronic production. Well, um,. Can I just, let me just upgrade that one and that one. I think that'll, that'll be fine. I shouldn't have to use Unity. And I've got the employees, I got the workers for it. So we'll just do that. That may hit my rubber production a little bit, but we'll, we'll see what we get there. All right. Um... Supply of coal is low. Didn't I move these guys back? Oh, no, I didn't move them back. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to leave them on coal for a while. Um, so I have to keep going back and forth. I've got everything filled in that I need right now. So I'm going to leave that to go. So that'll be a non-issue. Um, <laughs> that I'm working on. Hopefully, once my trucks aren't as busy. Actually, you really shouldn't be busy with that much. They're starting to get that moved. I'm going to unpause this. I'm going to pause that belt. 
Ah, no, that's fine. It can keep going. Right. Yeah, let's go fill this. <laughs> yeah, I need the iron to come into there. All these mixed. They are just slightly. Okay. Yes, please get that dirt. Please get this dirt. Please remove this dirt. Um, we're going to move these guys off of the dirt then. Oh, wait. It's this one. Yeah, I'm going to put you guys on clearing the hillside. There you go. What are all my trucks busy doing? Oh, well, I did tell them to move that stuff over there. That's pretty much done, though. My trucks should be getting to a better spot here. Alright, good. We have enough power now. 30, 38 megawatts total that we could potentially generate although it's 28 without using these um if i pause those yeah so it's 28 without these in fact i may i may mm, i may pause those that way if i start running low i know to unpause them all right good uh there we go all right uh, now we're moving okay yeah, get that dirt moved, please. I need this done. Okay. Uh, anyway, what I was doing um, over here. I need to bring this water over. I have room. I could fit it right through there. Um... I still need this exhaust pipe to come over here, so I'm going to, for now, until I get this area fixed up, I'm just going to grab it from right here. We're going to go this way. there down to there and up good um is that my that's not the big belt though or er, big belt big pipe i need the big pipe Good. And then I'm going to upgrade that bit of it. That bit of it. Okay. Yeah. That should be fine. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just that okay and we'll just unity that and that one that one 
Okay. Good. All right. That is to make sure. Okay. So. Research is going. Let's unpause that belt. Belt. Damn it. Pipe. Unpause that. All right. That is all set to go. I want you. You're. Yeah, it's fine. We're not getting any dirt right now. I was getting backed up on dirt. All right. We could probably resume digging out dirt. Get the dirt there. There. And dig that out. Okay. Give me the dirt. 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 And dirt. All right. That. <clears throat> Should keep going. Maybe we've emptied that out enough that that can keep going. <clears throat> Iron's in good business. All right. <clears throat> now, let's see. I want to unpause that. Okay. Yeah, we're fine on that. That rainwater's replenishing that. Oh, yeah, power's good. Okay. Is that all connected up? Yes. All right. So now I can pretty much disconnect this one here. That is no longer needed up here. Good. <clears throat> Next thing I need to do is get this moved. Um, which I can do. Uh, let's take this guy. Let's grab it from there. Go this way. Under this, Okay. 
All right. Uh... Like that. Yeah, that's good. way through here around see I knew there was a reason I left this right here <laughs> bingo nice all right good 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 so exhaust will come down over into here and go down this way <clears throat> Let me get this built in. <clears throat> I want that up and running, and then I'm going to switch this over. <coughs> it's only kind of temporary anyway until... Uh... Alright, so it should... Should be filling down this way. Good. Now... <clears throat> I need to switch this exhaust to go that way and this one to go that way and then I can delete this one yeah good all right that way this exhaust still is able to go that way and then all that can go where it needs to go. Okay. Alright. Clean that part up. Now I have to move this. Um, my trucks aren't as busy now. We can get rid of those. Do that. All right. Um, how are we doing? All right. We've managed to work through most of the recycling. I've almost got the rotary kiln, and then I think we're good on everything I need to do this. Rotary kiln. Yeah. I still have to figure out... <clears throat> Thermal storage uses steam to heat its tank to molten salt to store thermal energy. The accumulated energy can be used to boil incoming water back to steam. The conversion process has losses, but maintaining the accumulated heat does not decay while the storage is operational. I really need to look into that because... If that's a more efficient way to have steam for like this and burn less coal or hydrogen, I'm all for it. So I need to probably look at that point. I, I, I'm getting distracted. I can't get distracted. All right. Uh, you are currently just digging that dirt. All right. We're going to tell these guys to stop. And are these trucks empty? No, they need to go empty. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, turn these off. Okay. We're going to delete this guy out. And then I'm going to put... I want to... Uh, 
Maybe I'll put them right here. Well, no. I want to have them... Alright. I want to basically have them where... Well, this doesn't matter because this is just kind of my... I need you to do tasks for me group. Six. Alright. Build that. You're going to dig this out. All right, you guys, for now, just do the uh, do the dirt. I want the dirt. Okay. Dirt. Dirt and dirt. All right, this is almost done. It's a gas rotary kiln too. All right, my plan is to basically have a couple of ore sorting plants up here that they can easily access into. And those are going to do multiple things. Um, I'm going to leave the one that's down here doing the coal. F eh. No. Good, it's done. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's gas. Oh, okay, it uses hydrogen or fuel gas and limestone to make cement. And I get some CO2 out of it, which I could flush over here. Which is why I'm moving so much of my stuff over here. Because this is where all of my, uh, um exhaust and uh, air pollution management is <clears throat> all right so let's see how do I want to lay this out well I guess the first thing I need to look at is how big of a footprint is the new process going to be. So if I use Blast Furnace 2. Alright. That's going to take the crushed iron or the crushed uh, copper ore. And I'm, I'm guessing eventually. <clears throat> I sh uh, eventually we will smelt gold. Gold ore concentrate. Yeah, see, there's going to be some... There's a gold furnace. There's a settling tank. Gold ore powder. So I'm guessing it's got to go through a crusher. It is. Okay. Gold ore into gold ore crushed. Gold ore crushed into gold ore powder. Gold ore powder with acid makes gold ore and toxic slurry, which I'm going to have to eventually uh, filter out somehow. I hope, because that's a that is very toxic. No, I think uh, I'm pretty sure the scrubbing facility could do it. There was, there was something that could take the slurry and do something with it. I thought, well, uh, I could have just looked, uh, I don't know. I should be looking at the gold. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going down that rabbit hole. Ah, it's the water treatment. Okay. Water treatment plus filter media and brine equals that. We're not there yet. Uh, I was looking at things. I'll try to plan for the future. All right. So. One of these takes 36 
Iron Ore Crushed, which you take 216 ore and you crush into 216. So one of these makes 216. So 216 divided by 36 is six. So one of these can provide for six of these. Wait, uh, yeah, so you're six. Uh, so, I only need one to get, because, um, well, one of these makes 48. So, you know, I need to look at all the new ratios. So, Blast Furnace 2 goes into a caster 2? No. Yeah, that's going to make 48 molten iron. So you have a little more exhaust too, so that's actually going to change that a little bit on how I get rid of the exhaust. Okay. Ah, okay, so it's still going to be... So it's going to make 48... So this will take so it'll still be one it'll still be one to two. And I could have up to six of these then. Wow. Okay, so I should probably plan. So let me just I'm gonna do this so I can visualize. So that is gonna go to that and then one crusher. So one crusher go into six of these. And each one of these would get two. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. <laughs> God, that's a lot of freaking people, too. Damn. Um, well, uh, so I could set it up. I don't have to have it all running right away. But... Yeah, we can have that. Um, these are still going to require coal. And it's going to require limestone. So it's going to have three inputs. Okay. So also have to take it. How fast? How fast do my belts run? U shaped conveyor can move 260 seconds. So it take it takes slightly over a minute to get the crushed ore that I would need to go into these. These need 36 every minute. So my belts aren't quite fast enough to do that, but we will get into faster belts eventually so I could build it in anticipation of having faster belts. Okay, so let me, uh, let's just get this built, um, actually, let's move this over, over here for a minute. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I need to do is set up an ore sort, <coughs> ore sorting facility. I think I'm going to do that right here. Um, and then I'll have the ores come in where they need to. I need to make sure I leave a little, uh, a path here. For my vehicle to get into actually I shouldn't even need to do that if I have the ores come up here all right or sorting plant all right um, Because there's a couple different ways I could do this. I'm trying to think of the most efficient way. Because you could technically have this, like, I want iron ore to come here. I want copper ore to come here. I want coal. And then, of course, you know, you can take rock. You can take dirt. 
You can take limestone. You can take sand. Um, what's left? I mean, you can even do the quartz. Uh, we could have slag. And then you can basically set these like, I want, I want this to be A and I want this to be A. You can separate out your, your ores that way. Um, on one thing because you could take, and this is the way I was thinking of doing it. The only thing I'm worried about is if it's able to handle the throughput because I could do like, Hey, I want that to come out of there. So I'm going to flip this and have it split off into two different things and have a storage here and a storage here. But, I haven't tested what the throughput's like. I'm guessing it's only as fast as your belt would be that's connected to it. Which, for right now, is 200. So that would mean that this is bottlenecked by the output. So if you figure... If you're getting iron and copper out on the same one, instead of getting 200 ore through a belt, uh, through a U-shaped conveyor, in 60 seconds you'd be getting 100 because it's split between the two. So I think for now I'm going to want to have two of these. Not X. Copy it. So, maybe two of them. Um, one of them not having the... Um, okay. And I mean, I would still want... I think what I would tell it is iron, rock, dirt, and I would still have it like filter out, you know, the possibility of sand maybe going in there or gravel or slag, just anything I might dig up that might actually get shoved in here with it. Um, I can sort out between some other things. So keep iron as its own, and then I could probably put rock. Um, like sand, less likely. We'll put that as D. Uh, dirt, very likely. That's a B. Rock, very likely. That's a B. And then uh, gravel, actually, is the least likely. I don't have any gravel anywhere. <clears throat> and then slag would be C. Or, no. Yeah, these are the two least likely to do it. Um, and this one, I could just make this one the copper. And do the same thing, essentially. Let me just do, let me copy, no. Copy that, put it over here, and then just switch this to copper. <clears throat> and then take this and we'll put it on this end. And this will be coal. So if we do that, I have coal coming out of that, and I can feed that in a direct belt over that way. <clears throat> Let's see. So I can put these kind of back here. Um, I can put them there. They've got access to them. 
and then I can have these feed out into different um, storage units. So basically, <clears throat> I would say I'm gonna I would have coal come out into two of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn. One, two. There. <clears throat> that to there. Alright, so that's where all the coal would go. And then the coal could get, you know, placed out of various things. Like, so I could just take what I have here. Copy. Nope. Copy the recipe and put it in there. And that would then deliver to everywhere I have selected so far. Okay. And then there would be dirt. Um, we'll see. Um, actually, I may need to move these up a little bit. a bit that makes more sense well I'm trying to maximize my space yeah that's fine well I have to see how close I can get these because like I go this one over to here or here there and this one Because these still need to have access from trucks. Like this one would be the dirt. even better I think I will space these out a little bit grab this put it back here okay <clears throat> Dirt and rock are both coming to the same one. These are going to need to be split off into separate things. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just I'm thinking how I want to lay it out. <laughs> because... Well, my thought is, is do I want to give each, I don't want to give each one of these its own separate, like, dirt or rock. Like, I want them all to go to one so that, basically, I'm trying to limit where the trucks try to think they want to go. I want them to all go to, like, a centralized dirt dumping or a centralized rock dumping. And I'm trying to think of how <clears throat> I can set these up to do that and have the belts make sense. Um... Let me move these first. I think I'm going to do... I'm going to set up each one of these individually and then get the belts out. Alright, so for instance, this is going to need this, but it's going to have to go up to here. Yeah, same with this one. OK. 
Okay. Um. Yeah. So if I had this come out to here, this come out to here, I can have... So let's say I want the dirt to go out that way. And on this one, I want the sand to go that way. Okay, so that leaves... coal to come out <clears throat> and whatnot. Okay. Let's take this one. I'm going to flip flip it that way. <clears throat> it's basically going to be the same thing. I'm just going to take this Grab it and put that one there. Grab this and put it here. Um, do this. That way. Okay. And grab this, put it over here. Two, th three, one, two, three, four. All right. Four. Is that four? That's four. All right. Copy this and put it right there. Okay. <clears throat> so there. Okay. <clears throat> that should let me get these belts in a more manageable way. Oh, wait. I don't even need to... Do <laughs> I could, uh... I don't have to separate them right away. Uh... I basically just need four belts out for each, and they can, well, it's going to be, because this is, these three are different, so it's going to be three, four, five, six different belts coming out. Now, the, the, uh, coal and the ores I could have on their own line, and then these other three on their separate lines, so I think what we need to do is have... These move down this way then. I need more room. 
Okay. <clears throat> so U shape conveyor. Um, if I had to, let's just say this one. This one goes up to three. All right, they need to be out to this space right here. Okay, so that's my marker. Down one, turn off snap. This way. And one more down, go this way. And we need to take another one and slap that down also. Now, obviously, <clears throat> we can't go one side and then the other. But if I actually take this, let's move this down this way. And if I take these, flip them. Maybe I flip them this way. You know what? This might be better because they drop off. They would. All my trucks would just drop off on this end. Um, <clears throat> this might be the better way to do it. Over here. Like that. And then we take this. Flip it this way, and we can go pretty much this way with it. Well, it won't need to be as long, but we could go. We could do that. We could go this way. We could even put one of them down on the ground, actually. I still like the idea of of it being this direction. But <clears throat> how do I want to Okay. Four belts there. I'm trying to think how I'm going to weave these belts together. Because I want all... I'd like all of these to... All the <clears throat> stuff that I need to filter out to go a separate way. So, like, that one would go there. But I'd want it to hook in somehow to this without blocking these. So, I guess I could probably go above. And then maybe... Hook in. Oh, 
Oh. Uh. I know I could do that. I think. Could I use this, maybe? Yeah, I think I could do that. That might, that might work. And then that one can go into there like that. Ooh, ooh, that might just work for my needs. We could do that here. That works for one, but not all. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? That? I wonder if that actually would work. Sort of works. Oh, wait a minute. What if I hold on? Yeah, see, what if I did this? convoluted though Damn. I wish you could like still have the bottom of this on the ground and then raise it 
I thought that you were supposed to able to be able to do it that way. <coughs> it's like I don't. Like, I, I want the bottom... I, I think I know what they were trying to do with these. It doesn't quite work. I don't think it... Unless I'm, like, not doing it right. I get that. But see, that's... I want it... I want the bottom part to be on the ground. Because if... I don't get the point of it if... Like, I guess it's a little bit higher than the belts could normally go. To get over obstacles, maybe? Because, yeah, the belt wouldn't raise up to, like, that point. Hmm... Like, I wish you could take this, flip it, and whoops. Yeah. Cuz I want the I want the entry to be at the ground level and then go up. Allows raising or lowering loose products vertically, but it doesn't. <laughs> unless I'm just not using unless I'm just not doing something right. It seems like it should be going a slightly different way. Shift. What the hell is shit supposed to do? Hold the shortcut key to place selected structures multiple times. Oh, okay. Well, damn. <laughs> I was really hoping these would work a little bit different. That's not helpful. Alright, abandoning that idea. That is not going to work the way I was wanting it to. still think uh, attaching it to belts is the way I want to go <sighs> but I can't do <clears throat> I may have to that's not gonna work either So many outputs, but damn it, not many inputs. Er, I don't have enough belt space to do everything I want. I mean, I guess I could. I 
could maybe take this. We would obviously go this way. Second one. Third one. Here to this one. And to this one. And then again. There and there. <clears throat> There's so much space. Okay, so that. And if that's the case, I would not need. Oh, I got. This is wrong. <laughs> This goes to the bottom one. Okay, so with that being said, I wouldn't need this, this, or this, because that would go directly that way. So that's the the non ore stuff going away. Then I want this. Maybe over this way. Oh, okay. What I, I think what I could do here, this might actually be more of a benefit here. Well, no, because it's still... See, this is why I hate... I don't like how this works. They need to make it so that you can keep the bottom there and raise it up and take it straight up instead of having to curve the belt. But the other thing I could do, I was thinking of as a possibility. Three. What are you doing? Go there. Wow, really? Man. Well, you know what? That might be okay. Um, and then take one of these here. Go down one. Go up to there. And take this one. Go down one. In fact, that one back there... That one might actually be too high yeah I want this one to go here that like this perfect or even I could even take it let's do this let's go out to here. no no we can't it has to go over those belts. I could probably bring it to right. No, nah, we'll, we'll leave it where I had it. That's fine. This one can go lower now. So that one can go to there. And this one can come out go on to that this come out here go on to that one and then this one ok 
can't go over that, can it? Oh, I can go out. Then go over. Can you go over this way? Ah. Damn, hits the building. Well, I go that way. Why does it seem like it's higher? It's because it is. Can this can this go one um actually I may not even need that there. That one makes sense. That's going into there. This one up one to there. Alright, that might actually be the best case scenario for that. Yeah, I uh, I kind of like that. I think that would work. I probably don't need this this here then. If I'm honest. I just need... Uh, I just need to go over to... This one. Like that. Okay. If we're going to try to make this as close to the other one as possible. Okay. Come on. Stop one more. Yeah, that will go like that. Okay, so that's everything going this direction. Um, let's grab this. Let's put it back over here where I originally had it. Part of me kind of wish I had the book going the other way, but, um, actually, can I just, <laughs> oh, yeah, but they're gonna, I was trying to make, <laughs> it's, it's the same, <laughs> uh, okay, oh, no, wait, yeah, okay, good, there we go, all right, that's, that's what I wanted, all right, I was able to do it. Um, See, I have my smeltering area over here. So, let's see. Let's just put these right here. 
Okay. The belts are running. Oh, I put. Damn it. Flip that. I want the belts to run towards the middle. Yeah, that's better. Alright, belts are going to run that way. So we're going to put these over. Oh, yeah, that's actually way better if we put these over here. Yeah. And then these run this way. And then I could put my sorting where I need it. Okay, so. Um, so these are all of the waste products. Not waste products, but all the miscellaneous stuff that I don't need. And then my other ores and stuff going that way. So the top belt is going to be my coal, the second belt is going to be my copper, and the low belt is going to be my iron. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to put these into some storage units that my truck should still be able to access as long as I leave lanes for them to go into there. Um. That's going to be my coal. Coal is the top one on the side facing me, which is perfect. Yeah, because I'm going to have I'm going to have those belts pretty much like dump over here. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So these can be my waste products out. Not waste products, but you know what I mean. My my other dumping products. Um, and then it was going to be basically five. All right. So I don't have anything else coming in yet. Um, oh, you know what? I am going to need... Damn, I didn't put a place for limestone in here. Oh, I will need a fourth belt then out. For the limestone. That's fine. I could do that. Um, let me move these down. Um, grab this. Flip it. Put it. Put it there. No, that way. Alright, then I need limestone on this one. Limestone. Oh, pause. Um, okay. And then this one. Wait a minute, is that... Damn. Oh, cuz... Oh, damn. Okay. Alright, so that's the one thing I'm gonna change. These are gonna come out a little further. Okay, so obviously that one's going to go there, this one out over to here, go 
there. This one. This way. No. Damn it. This one. Go this way. And then out on the outside. This way. Bam. <sighs> See, you can't go that way. You're going to have to go inwards. Yeah. And this one can go on the outside. No. Oh, I didn't connect. I didn't connect you. There you go. Okay. Now. there okay and that way it's because I want that uh, how do I get oh because I had that as one get those to stay like that damn it I want the little in case I need to do something with that later get these other ones to stay like that without leaving this here really God damn it. <laughs> Motherfucker. Shit, which one was that? That was my coal. Okay. Got it. Alright. Can we grab the whole thing now? Oh. Alright. 
fucking copy and paste. Son of a bitch. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah. If it does stay, whatever. Fuck it. I whatever. I don't care. <laughs> All right. For some reason, the other one stayed like that. This one didn't. Anyway. Uh. So these continue to come over this way. This way. And this way. Okay. Now I can have these come back over here. Um, <clears throat> and the limestone's gonna go this way. All right, now I need to be able to separate these. So, this top belt, well, let me hook this up. Um, this is the bottom one. Bottom, middle. And top. Okay. Now. So I can see which ones they are. So the dirt and rock is the bottom one. So I can have this here. And it can go to that one. There. And I think what I'm going to do is have two of each of these. Just to be sure, because everything's going to come over here to get sorted out. Okay. So, this first one goes into here. This will be dirt. These are too close. No, they aren't. Um, yeah, we'll do dirt there. And then we'll send this one out to be the rock. These aren't too close because I can bring this next belt down and this next one down. Um, to here. All right, so <clears throat> the second belt is just slag. So <clears throat> that can just go right in on its own. The third belt, come along this way. down to here and we put in our smart sorter it's right there <clears throat> that can sort um, sand and gravel 
uh, we'll do sand. And then we'll go into gravel. All right. Okay, so that's that's how I want that's kind of what I was envisioning of how I wanted this to go. I wanted to be able to bring these out and separate them. I have all the junk go here and then all of my ores will go this way into their respective uh, smelting areas. And then, of course, I have coal coming down as well um, to feed all of them. Okay, so now that I've got that's this figured out, Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did. Okay. One second. I did one space too far back, and I was not going to let that happen. Right? Yeah, okay. Now we're good. Right? I'm not bugging out like that. No, it is on the same line now. Okay. Alright. Or maybe it was on the right line. It just looks weird because I can see this. Okay. Anyway. Uh, we're good there. Each one of these takes six people. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to blueprint that cuz I don't want to lose it. I'm going to put this as sorting uh, or sorting facility. Alright, uh, so I've got at least that saved, so it's in there. Now I need to think about how I'm going to set up these. Um, before I even do that... <laughs> well, that's fine. Um, first things first, we're going to have... And I even think I might face them this way so that all my products go that way. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to put down. So you want storage. I'm going to put a storage three for my first one. And that is going to be my... That will be my iron. So iron is the one on the bottom. That's going to go right there. Which means that I should not need this to go anywhere. All right, now is where we get to see how much room this is going to take up. All right, so you are going to crush that ore into iron ore crushed. So that 
We could probably just leave that, like, uh, it's gotta go, is it gotta go up? Nope, it connects right to it. Alright, so I could just put that right, right there. And that'll crush the ore. So, we do have limestone coming off the line. And we have sand that'll come off the line. So, everything I need, because now I have the limestone and sand in here, everything should come off. Because the sand I could have, I could have this sand pretty much drop off. No, not that. That's not what I want to do. I'd have the sand drop off to any of these. I probably keep maybe this one and all of these should reject the single load well no I'm not gonna you know what I'm just gonna have them sorted unless I'm gonna leave a little drive well I could leave a little driving lane I think here maybe see if we could make it feasibly we can have we can make that happen I just move this over one. Okay. Cuz I think I'll have the single uh I'm going to leave Where's my coal going? That's the third belt. Um, well, I want to... I want to be able to stockpile some of this. So I think what I'll do is... Put this... Here. And then my third belt up should be my coal. Have that plug in directly... Come on. You had it. There you go. Directly into there. And then this can go directly back up into here. Yeah. This way, I have a direct dumping spot for that coal. And I have a direct dumping spot for the iron ore. Um, that way I could tell these to reject single load, single product loads. And these will only be used for sorting out junk that's mixed together. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So, got that. That's going to go there. Um, I just want to double check. That's my coal. That's the belt. That's going to there. Down, down there. Okay. Great. If that's the case, I don't need this part of the belt. Because I want it all to go through the sorting facility first. <laughs> Good. Okay. Or through the storage first. And then it would go out wherever. Um, now, I need all of these. I already got this in there. I need these. Obviously, I'm going to make this as compact as possible. So this is still going to have exhaust. It's going to have slag, which I could set the slag from these to go to my sorting slag out anyway. And have it go there. 
And I need a pipe for the exhaust to go to my main exhaust area. So each one of these is 36. Wow. Okay, so 36 times 6 is 216. God, I'm going to need two of these just to take care of one of these. So these are going to have to be built into there. Um, I think for... I'm not going to have all these running. I'm only going to have four of them running. For the time being. So 36 times 4 is more manageable. 144. But I'm going to plan it like they're all ready to go. Alright. So... First things first. We need... Blast Furnace 2. Okay. Um, this is going to have three products coming into it. It's going to need... The iron, the crushed iron, the limestone, and the coal. The coal I can get off of one of these belts here. Uh, that's the other thing I need to check. How much, um, how much coal do these take? 15? These take 15 every 60 seconds, I guess it would be. Yeah. So with that, 15, um, times six ninety um, but if we go 